And finally, the most important update of the entire stream chat. Sue Hulk, who is the wife of uh, Marcus Meechan, a.k.a. Count Dankula, posted this on Twitter, saying, Just over three weeks ago, I really am tempted to do a terrible Scottish accent. Just over, th I can't even, I can't even, I don't have the audacity to. Just over three weeks ago, I left my marriage with Marcus. It wasn't an easy decision, but it was the right one. He has told me not to tell anyone, but I have to give it off my chest. I don't want any drama. I just want to focus on my life with my two beautiful daughters. Um, and Count Dankula uh, first made uh, responded to people immediately assuming that it was because he fucked a, a man. Um, Chuddy says, I would bet money he got caught messaging trannies. And then uh, Dankula replies saying, retarded shit like this is exactly why I didn't want any of it public yet. The real reason is boring. Things just didn't work out. Um, he then addressed the uh, drama uh, f officially, formally, on Zitter, saying, Well, the cat is out of the bag a little, but yes, me and Sue are getting divorced. It's a short situation, but essentially we both grew into two very different people, and that resulted in us just not being very good or nice to each other, and we couldn't work past it. So the divorce was for the best. Sue has told me she wants to move ahead with this amicably and with shared custody, as do I. The most important thing out of all of this is our daughters, which is why they, why I really want to keep this private, um, or a private matter, since I don't want my kids to read a bunch of nonsense about their parents' divorce all over the lowercase i internet one day, or see any shit flinging or fake rumors that happen. Uh, as a result, since that wouldn't be a very nice experience for them, my greatest concern right now is making sure that this has the most minimum impact on the children as possible. Sue is a great mother, and I would really appreciate people not going after her or causing shit. Please do not do that, seriously. Do not do that. It's a very difficult time for the both of us, and we are trying to navigate uh, to ensure the best possible outcome for our daughters in the long term, since at the end of the day, it's them who matters the most. I appreciate all the kind messages from everyone. Chat, let us baselessly speculate about their divorce. I personally believe that since Count Dankula has both met Fenster and uh, Lilith Lovett in person, that he has partaken in man-ass on multiple occasions, and his wife is just not having any of it. Um, he denies this and said they simply grew into different people. But that's a bit mystifying as a statement because he's very much the same kind of person that he was when they met. Um, I think they were together before the Nazi pug incident. If you don't know, Dankula is only notable at all because he trained his uh, pug to uh, uh, raise his paw when he says, gas the juice. And uh, he responded to any mention of the word juice or Jews by raising his paw and he was prosecuted for hate crimes as a result of this um for hate speech um because he uh trained his nazi pug he tried to fight this all the way up to the eu human rights tribunal um and was denied they resolved it because they charged him um or fined him 800 pounds they took the money directly from his bank account and consider the matter resolved, so there's nothing to protest. They got their money, and there is no, uh, nothing to overturn. He lost completely. This went on for years and years and years, um, from the initial incident to the final resolution of the Nazi pug incident. It was like eight years, I want to say. It was a ridiculously long time of like prosecuting this on every level of, uh, of the court system available at the time brexit had like when this um when brexit had happened uh they were still in the eu for some time so even though they were leaving the eu he still petitioned they were still under the human like the eu human rights tribunal thing uh for another two years so he still petitioned them for a hearing and got denied and stuff well, my point is that they were together for all of that. He was like a nobody comedian um, who had a small YouTube channel. Blew up because of the Nazi pug thing. She stayed with him for years as they prosecuted the free speech case. Um, 
then his channel really took off. He got all this money from doing the Mad Lads series that people apparently really love. And now he's successful. He's, like, genuinely successful. He parlayed his um, Nazi pug exposure into, like, a real career on YouTube. And he's doing okay. He was even a member of UKIP for a while, I think. Stood next to Sargon on the national stage. Um, he's a Scottish nationalist. I think he wants Scottish independence. And now is when she says, or when they say, that we grew apart into different people. Uh, after you have two kids, now you're different people. After all the years of bullshit, now you're different people. Um, I don't get it. The only thing that would make sense to me is that he is getting that bussy. Everyone knows that he's getting that bussy. That was everybody's immediate response. I think even I ran a poll for this. And uh, 768 people said he fell for the man-ass meme, Lamal, hashtag bussy. So I think the most reasonable thing, like if I legitimately had to, to bet as to what happened, I would not say they grew into different people because that's stupid. You have two kids now. If you grew into different people, you would still just manage the relationship. You're not going to suddenly break into being a single mother <laughs> with shared custody because uh, you grew into different people. Um, is that late into your life? It doesn't make sense. It would make more sense, I think, that because he seems very concerned. Like, right, in his message, he's like, the most important thing I want is that my kids don't read any stupid rumors on the internet. Well, that sounds like he did get caught with the bussy, and he's really embarrassed about it, and he doesn't want his kids to grow up and learn that he's a faggot, and he scorned his mother by sticking his cock into a tranny's asshole, and is like, oh, fuck. Okay, well, we have to come up with some bullshit excuse. And then Sue is like, okay, I agree. I don't want my daughters to know that you're a poofter. Right? Is that what they say? Poofter? Okay, so we'll just lie. We'll say that we grew into different people, whatever the fuck that means. We'll move apart amicably. You will continue to pay me your mad lad's money. And I will not tell people that you fucked a man in the ass. So that's my opinion, okay? Just a normal leftist couple. I mean, I don't feel like that that is too baseless speculation. It would make sense. And a lad's bum. <laughs> He's a batty boy. I wonder if he caught any STD. That's how, dude, that's unreal how many women find out that their husband is fucking a man on the side by them coming up positive for, like, an HIV test. Like, oh, I have AIDS now because my husband is fucking man-ass on the side. Poofta. Not poofter, sorry. Nice Dankula fanfic. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's based on speculation, but it's based off all the facts that I have available to me. We literally prayed for Dankula, SMH my head. It's true, though. And I, I told him that he has two kids now, and he should, he should take himself a little bit more seriously. And not stick his cock in man ass. And he like disagreed. <laughs> he still was like BFF with Lilith Lovett. And um, he got really like upset whenever I said that he fucked him in the ass. I don't know. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.